you know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil Arranged marriage The term always felt like a burden to Park Yin Since she was young, she knew her life wasn't entirely her own As the daughter of a powerful mafia family in South Korea Yin never had the freedom to choose her own destiny Jian Jungkook, her husband, was no exception He came from a mafia family just as powerful as hers For both of them, this marriage was merely a tool to unite to great forces No love, no passion, just formality Yet here they were, smiling at the guests Congratulating them on their grand and seemingly perfect wedding Without the guests realizing that their smiles were merely a mask After the wedding ceremony, Jungkook took Yin to his luxurious mansion Complete with various facilities Jungkook spoke, this marriage is just a business deal arranged by our parents, so don't expect anything more from me. I'm not a romantic husband who can promise you anything. Let's handle our own affairs and let things go as they will, he said with an expressionless face. Yin had expected this. So, in other words you don't consider me your wife? Jungkook sighed. Did I say that? I said don't expect more from me. I'm not a romantic husband, but I didn't say I'm not your husband. Yin rolled her eyes. Alright? I get it, you don't need to explain further. Anything else? Am I not allowed to sleep in this bedroom either? No, you're my wife now, you're free to sleep in this bedroom. Jungkook replied before disappearing into the bathroom. Yin let out a frustrated sigh, frowning as she mimicked her husband's words. You're my wife now, you're free to sleep in this room. Iceman, I knew he wasn't romantic at all, and I'm not expecting anything romantic from him. She sat on the bed and let out another long sigh. Right. I don't need love from him either. This marriage is not what either of us wanted. I just need to focus on myself, she murmured, convincing herself not to dwell on a marriage devoid of love. A short while later, she saw her husband had finished showering and changed, preparing for bed. Without a word, she then entered the bathroom to prepare herself for sleep. 30 minutes later, Yin emerged from the bathroom in her nightgown. She saw her husband already asleep, lying on one side of the bed, leaving space for her. He was lying on his back. Slowly, Yin climbed into bed. Initially, she lay on her back, but gradually turned to face her husband, watching his peaceful sleeping face. Handsome but heartless, she thought, unknowingly staring at him longer than she intended. She dared to do this only because Jungkook was asleep. If he were awake, she wouldn't have the courage to look at him so openly. Unconsciously, a faint smile appeared on her lips, and for a brief moment, she felt a small warmth in her heart. She was sure this marriage wouldn't stay the same forever. Besides, she knew that her own parents had also married through an arrangement and hadn't loved each other at first. But as time passed, look at them now, even in their old age, they still loved and supported each other. Hum. He said not to expect anything from him because he's not a romantic husband. Not being romantic doesn't mean being cruel, right? Alright. Let's see what happens. For now, I should sleep. I'm tired. And so, their first night together was spent only in sleep. Jungkook wasn't even interested in doing anything, going to bed before his wife. Not long after, Yin unconsciously closed her eyes, following her husband into a world of dreams. Two months later, two months had passed, yet their relationship still felt flat and empty. Both Jungkook and Yin stayed occupied with their own lives. In their bedroom, they only slept beside each other, without any affection at all. They hadn't even been intimate throughout the two months of their marriage, as if each was too absorbed in their own world. One morning, Yin woke up earlier than usual. She sat on the edge of the bed, looking out through the large window. The view outside, which normally brought her peace, felt colder and quieter that day. What am I doing with my life? Yin murmured softly. She felt empty, as if going through the motions without purpose. Jungkook, her husband, was rarely home. Every morning, he left before she awoke, and returned late at night when she was already asleep. When Yin left the bedroom and walked down the stairs, the housemaid greeted her politely. Good morning. Ma'am, what would you like for breakfast today? Yin sighed before responding. Just the usual, nothing special, she said as she made her way to the dining room. Yin sat at the dining table, which felt bigger and emptier than it should. Shortly after, the maid served breakfast in front of her, and once again, she ate alone. The clinking of her spoon and fork against the plate echoed through the spacious room, amplifying the silence. Every now and then, her gaze drifted to the empty chair across from her, the place meant for the man who was now her husband, but she knew that hoping to share even a simple breakfast together might be too much. She tried to convince herself that this was the life chosen for her, and that she had to accept it, but beneath the calm exterior, she tried to maintain, a hollow feeling crept into her heart, slowly gnawing away at her. A few hours later, Yin decided to spend the day at her boutique. It was the one place that made her feel alive. Here, 
She could pour her creativity into designing clothes and connect with her loyal customers. But there was still a part of her life that felt incomplete, her relationship with her husband. She knew she shouldn't expect much from this marriage. Jungkook had reminded her of that from the start. But each time she saw their couples looking so happy, a pang of envy surfaced. She couldn't help but wonder if, one day, she and Jungkook might share even a fraction of that happiness. She longed for a connection that went beyond mere formality, a genuine bond. But for now, all she had was her boutique, her work, and a faint hope that maybe, someday, things would change. In the afternoon, Yin decided to take a walk along the Han River, hoping for some peace. She sat on a bench, watching the calm waters and feeling the gentle breeze on her face. Around her, couples held hands, laughed together, and whispered to each other. The sight made her chest tighten. Why can't I have that? Shouldn't I be able to feel that with him too? Yin thought. Even if her marriage to Jungkook had been arranged, she couldn't help but yearn for warmth in their relationship. After all, two months had passed with no signs of progress. Yin shook her head. No, I can't think like this. Didn't I agree to this marriage without any feelings involved? I understand my situation. I think I can understand how my mom felt when she married my dad. Jungkook is really busy, just like my dad. But my mom managed to understand him back then. Shouldn't I try to do the same? After a long moment of reflection, an idea suddenly came to her. Jungkook's birthday is next week, right? Maybe this could be my chance to get closer to him. Though I doubt he feels anything for me yet. But. I could start showing him some care. Maybe my actions will make a difference, Yin thought, a wide smile appearing as she imagined her birthday surprise plan for her husband. With a newfound excitement, Yin started planning a surprise for Jungkook's birthday. She ordered a cake from her favorite bakery, making sure to choose the best flavor. She also wrote a small note with kind wishes for her husband and expressed her hope for a warmer relationship between them. Yin felt a surge of hope as she imagined that moment, picturing Jungkook's smile when he received the surprise. Even though their marriage wasn't like what she had dreamed, she believed that small gestures like this could be the first step in bringing them closer together. Jungkook's birthday had arrived. Yin had just arrived and parked her car at Jungkook's office. She looked at the cake box in front of her with a smile. I hope he likes it, she murmured. She felt a little nervous since it was the first time she was trying to give her husband something personal. Carefully, she carried the cake into Jungkook's office building. When she arrived, the employees greeted her politely, though with a hint of surprise. No one had expected Yin to visit her husband's office, especially since she hadn't been there at all in the months of their marriage. Since she didn't know where his office was, she went straight to the lobby. A young, beautiful woman greeted her warmly. Oh, Mrs. Jian, welcome. Is there something I can assist you with? Yin smiled back politely. Could you take me to my husband's office, please? The woman immediately smiled and quickly stood up. Certainly, Mrs. Jian, please follow me. Yin followed the woman as she led her to her husband's office on the 32nd floor. Arriving on the 32nd floor, Mrs. Jian, I can only escort you this far. That's Mr. Jian's secretary's desk. He'll take you from here. That's fine, thank you. Yin replied politely. Seeing Yin standing by the elevator, Jungkook's secretary, Lee, quickly approached her. I didn't know you'd be visiting today, Mrs. Jian. Let me show you to his office. Yes, I have a little surprise planned for my husband, Yin answered with a warm smile. Lee led Yin down the hall and knocked gently on Jungkook's office door. Come in. Jungkook's voice sounded stern and cold from behind the door, making Yin's heart race with anticipation. Lee opened the door. Mr. Jian, your wife is here. Jungkook looked up from the stack of documents on his desk, surprise evident on his face. Yin, he asked, unable to hide his confusion as to why his wife was suddenly there. Yin stepped inside with a smile. Lee quietly closed the door behind her. Yin walked over to Jungkook, approaching him with a cheerful expression. She wrapped her arms around him briefly, kissing his cheek, making the moment feel a bit awkward. Why did you come here? Jungkook asked, trying to ease the awkwardness. Yin showed him the large cake box in her hands. Happy birthday, Jungkook, she said cheerfully, hoping for a positive reaction from him. However, the response was not what she expected. Jungkook's gaze hardened as he looked at the cake box, his previously neutral expression turning tense. Is that why you came here? He asked, his voice low but pointed. Yin froze. I, I wanted to celebrate your birthday. I thought it'd be a nice moment too. I don't need this kind of celebration, Jungkook cut her off firmly. He stood from his chair, his face flushed with irritation. I'm not a child, don't treat me like this. I don't need celebrations like this, it's a waste of time. Jungkook protested, his tone growing sharp. Yin was stunned by his harsh tone, but I just wanted to. 
Throw it away. Jungkook pointed to the cake box in her hands. I don't need something so foolish. Yin felt a tightness in her chest. She hadn't expected his reaction to be this cool. Jungkook, I only wanted to show that I care. Yin said, her voice trembling. I thought, maybe we could try to be a better couple. Yin tried to keep herself composed, though her eyes began to water. She opened the cake box with shaking hands, holding it out to her husband, who was still staring at her coldly. At least have one slice. For your birthday, I put effort into this. Please, acknowledge that. But Jungkook quickly pushed Yin's hand aside, causing the cake to fall to the floor, crumbling. Seeing it shattered like that broke Yin's heart even further. What was wrong with her husband? Did he really despise her that much? Why are you so stubborn? I said I didn't want it. Why are you still forcing me to eat it? Are you trying to kill me? Jungkook snapped, his eyes piercing. Yin looked at him in disbelief. Kill you? Hey, I'm not that cruel. And why would I even do that? What do you think of me? Do I look like a monster to you? Yin shot back. Just leave, Jungkook said without looking at her. Yin gave a bitter smile, her eyes red with unshed tears. She wiped them away quickly. I'm leaving anyway. You really let me down, Jungkook. I didn't realize you hated me this much. Sorry for wasting your precious time with this stupid gesture, Yin added as she walked out of Jungkook's office, her heart aching from his cruel words. After she left, Jungkook stood there, staring at the ruined cake on the floor. His body trembled, sweat beating on his forehead as memories from his past flooded back. His eyes locked on the cake, but he wasn't seeing it anymore. He was reliving a dark memory from his childhood. A birthday cake meant to symbolize happiness now only stirred old wounds within him. Lee entered, visibly concerned at the sight of his boss. Mr. Jian, are you alright? You look very pale. Jungkook didn't turn around. Lee, please clean that up immediately. I don't want to see it anymore. Lee quickly began cleaning the remnants of the shattered cake. As he did so, he found a small note under the pieces. Mr. Jian, he said, handing the note to Jungkook. With trembling hands, Jungkook took the note and started reading. Jungkook, my husband. Happy birthday. Don't ask how I know your birthday. I'm your wife, so I should know things like this. I hope you're always happy and healthy. Just seeing that would make me happy too. Even though we rarely meet at home, with both of us busy with our own matters, I understand that this marriage is just a family business arrangement. But, is it okay for me to hope for more from you? To be honest, I sometimes feel envious when I see other couples being affectionate in front of me. I wonder if I could ever do that with you. Anyway, I hope you're always happy. Don't hesitate to call me if you ever need anything. Once again, happy birthday, my husband. Reading each line, Jungkook's chest tightened with guilt, a deep remorse settling within him. He hadn't intended to hurt Yin, but the scars of his past often made him lose control. He folded the letter, slipped it back into the small envelope, and tucked it into the pocket of his suit. After reading the letter, Jungkook decided to head home, feeling remorseful about how he'd treated Yin earlier. However, Yin was not at home. Where's my wife? Jungkook asked the maids. She hasn't returned since this morning, sir. When Jungkook asked the guards, he received the same answer. No one knew where Yin was. This began to worry him. Jungkook tried to stay calm, considering other possibilities about her whereabouts. Maybe she's at her boutique, he thought. Jungkook eventually decided to check at Yin's boutique. He spoke with one of the employees, asking about his wife. Is my wife here? Mrs. Jian hasn't returned to the boutique since earlier today. She mentioned she had something important to attend to, the employee explained. All right, thank you. Jungkook walked out of the boutique, exhaling heavily. Where are you, Yin? I'm sorry, he murmured. Jungkook got into his car and after some consideration, decided to take the last step of reaching out to Yin's parents, hoping she might have gone there after their argument. Hello mom, I wanted to ask if Yin is there with you? On the other end, Yin's mother sounded puzzled. Yin, she's not here. Jungkook, did something happen? Did you to have a fight? Jungkook hesitated. Her parents didn't need to know what had happened earlier. Oh no, everything's fine. I was just curious since she's out a bit later than usual. I think she's probably at her boutique, Jungkook replied. Yin's mother responded. Yes, she's likely there. Let us know if there's anything we can help with. Thank you, mom. Jungkook felt more distressed after ending the call. He knew he had deeply hurt Yin at the office, and now he feared she might not return. He cursed his foolishness, unsure of where else he could look for her. As the night deepened, Yin finally returned home. She had spent hours at the Han River until nightfall. She looked exhausted, her eyes swollen from crying. Without saying a word, she walked inside and headed straight to her room. Jungkook followed her, guilt weighing on him. Yin, he called softly. 
Inside, Yin sat on the edge of the bed, her back facing the door. Her long hair, usually flowing, was now messily tied, and her gaze was fixed emptily on the large window before her. She didn't move as Jungkook entered as if his presence meant nothing. Yin, Jungkook called again, this time more gently, filled with regret. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for how I treated you earlier. I didn't mean to act like that. Yin remained silent, her hands clutching the edge of the blanket tightly, struggling to hold back the emotions swirling within her. After a few moments of silence, Jungkook slowly approached and sat beside her, keeping a respectful distance. He knew he had hurt her deeply and didn't want to push her further. I, I shouldn't have gotten angry with you earlier, Jungkook continued, his voice heavy. I know you just wanted to do something nice for me, but birthdays aren't something I can celebrate lightly. I have painful memories associated with them. Yin's eyes filled with tears, though she tried to keep them from falling. Why? Why do you hate them so much? I just wanted to make you happy, Jungkook. What did I do wrong? Why did you take it out on me? At least give me a reason, she said, her voice raspy as she finally spoke. Jungkook sighed deeply, the pain in his chest intensifying. Old wounds he had buried for years surfaced, and for the first time in a very long time, he felt he needed to talk, to share something he had kept hidden in his heart. He knew that if he didn't open up now, their relationship would never improve. Yin, I hate my birthday, because on that day, when I was six years old, my mother died. Jungkook's voice was soft yet clear as he began his story. We were supposed to celebrate my birthday, a happy day, but instead, we were poisoned by someone who wanted to destroy our family. Yin turned slightly, looking at her husband in shock. She had never heard the story before, and now, each word he spoke seemed to break down the cold walls that had kept them apart. We were all eating cake together, but the cake was poison. Jungkook continued, his eyes focused on the floor, as though he could see the horrific scene replaying in his mind. My dad and I survived, but my mom, she wasn't as lucky. She died in front of me, on what should have been a happy day for me. Yin covered her mouth with her hand, shocked and saddened. Oh my god, Jungkook, she whispered softly. Jungkook continued, his voice thick with emotion. Since then, birthdays have never been the same for me. Every year, I'm just reminded of my mother's death. My dad avenged us, but the pain never left. And today, when you came with that cake, he paused, his eyes now glistening. I couldn't control my emotions. I didn't want to be angry with you, but that cake, it brought back the worst memories of my life. Yin felt her heart clench as she listened to Jungkook. She had never imagined that her husband carried such deep trauma. She had always seen him as a strong, stoic man, someone who rarely opened up. But behind it all, there was a wound that had never healed, a trauma that made him fearful of feeling happiness on a day that should be special for him. I, I didn't know, Yin said, her voice hoarse. Her tears began to fall slowly, unable to hold them back anymore. I'm sorry, Jungkook. I didn't mean to make you angry. I just wanted to try to get closer to you. I, I feel like we're so distant. I thought that celebrating your birthday might ease the coldness between us. Jungkook lifted his head, which had been bowed, hesitated for a moment, then gently reached for her hand. I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. I never gave you a chance to really get close to me. I've been too wrapped up in my own world, closing myself off. But from now on, I'll try to be more open with you. Yin looked at Jungkook, hoping to find sincerity in his eyes, and for the first time since they married, she saw something different in his gaze, regret, but also a warmth she had never noticed before. Will you give me a chance? Jungkook asked quietly. I know our marriage didn't start with love, but I want us to at least try to understand each other. To be honest, I'm also tired of how things have been, he continued, his voice softening. I'm sorry for the things I said at the beginning of our marriage that hurt you. At first, I thought it would be fine if our marriage stayed like this, but over time, it didn't feel right. I, I started hoping for something more between us too. Yin fell silent, trying to process her feelings. She realized that behind Jungkook's cold exterior, there was a fragile side she had never known. Even though their marriage was arranged, Yin felt that maybe, just maybe, there was a chance to create something more meaningful between them. I never expected much from our marriage, Jungkook. Yin finally said, but I just don't want our relationship to be this cold. I've tried to accept that you might not be a romantic person, but I was hoping you could be more open with me. And I'm glad, Yin said, a small smile on her lips. Because tonight, you've started to open up to me, and I feel like I'm getting to know you better. Jungkook also smiled, a rare expression on his face. Thank you, Yin. The next morning, Yin approached Jungkook in the dining room. She looked calmer after the emotional night. She smiled sweetly. Jungkook, I want to ask for something. What is it? Jungkook asked, 
looking at her attentively. Could we take a day off, just for today? I want us to spend time together, and I promise, no cake or anything else that could make you uncomfortable. Jungkook was surprised by her request, but her smile lightened his heart. He nodded slowly. All right, today we'll take the day off, but you decide what we'll do. Yin beamed, her eyes shining with enthusiasm. I know the perfect place. That day, they spent hours sitting by the Han River, a place that had always been Yin's retreat whenever she felt lonely or overwhelmed. But this time, she wasn't alone. Jungkook was beside her, and even though they didn't talk much, his presence was enough to make Yin feel warmer. This place is beautiful, Jungkook said after a long silence. Yeah, Yin replied, her eyes calmly following the clear flow of the river. I often come here when I feel stressed. Jungkook turned to her, looking at her with an unreadable expression. I didn't know you felt that way. Yin gave a bittersweet smile. I never told you. They fell silent again, but this time, the silence wasn't awkward. There was a new understanding growing between them, an acknowledgement that although they hadn't started with love, they could build something better from here. Slowly, Jungkook tried to reach for Yin's hand, gently taking hold of it. Yin looked at him and chuckled softly. Why are you hesitating just to hold your own wife's hand? Jungkook gave a sheepish smile, but soon after, Yin released his hand, only to link her arm through his and lean into him, resting her head on his shoulder. Jungkook immediately tensed up, but he allowed her to cling to him. Without realizing it, a faint smile appeared on his lips. Yin observed him, her eyes meeting his intently. This feels more comfortable to me, she said softly, resting her head back on his shoulder. Jungkook let out a soft sigh. Gosh, just this much was enough to make him nervous. Seriously. Am I like some teenager falling in love for the first time? He muttered to himself. That evening, they dined at a small restaurant by the river, far from the city's glittering lights. Yin had chosen this spot, hoping to create sweet memories for Jungkook's birthday, free from the shadows of the past. Yin tried to bring a fresh atmosphere to Jungkook's birthday, helping him gradually release the pain of his past traumas associated with this day. Yin, Jungkook called softly as they enjoyed dessert. Thank you, for today. Yin gave him a gentle smile. I just want you to know, you're not alone. Whatever you face from now on, I'll be here for you. Jungkook gazed at her for a long moment, feeling the warmth that had been missing from his life. Now, he sensed that Yin might be the remedy to heal his old wounds. Now back in their bedroom, the day had brought them happiness. Tonight marked a shift in their hearts, each accepting the other as husband and wife. Yin was ready to sleep, but Jungkook, beside her, was hesitant to close his eyes. Tonight. He wanted to begin something new between them. Yin, are you going to sleep right away tonight? He asked softly. Yin, who had already closed her eyes, opened them again, looking at him curiously. Is there something you want to do? Jungkook took a slow breath, uncertain where to start, before clearing his throat softly. Would you give me something special as a gift tonight? Yin looked even more puzzled. But I don't know what else to give you. Were you expecting a gift? I'm sorry, Jungkook. I didn't prepare one. I wasn't sure what you'd like. Jungkook fell silent, biting his lower lip for a moment before his gaze shifted to her. Just, give me yourself, that's your gift tonight. Yin's eyes widened, and she let out a soft laugh, playfully pinching his waist. Oh, so you want us to do that? I thought you weren't interested in it. Jungkook let out a huff. Fine, forget it, I won't ask. He almost turned away, but Yin quickly reached out to stop him. My husband is truly not romantic at all. With that, Yin leaned in and kissed him intensely. Jungkook smiled faintly, returning her kiss. They both closed their eyes, savoring the moment. After a few minutes, his kisses moved to her neck, leaving marks there. Yin's hand softly combed through his hair as he positioned himself above her. He looked at her tenderly. This is the most beautiful gift you could give me. After tonight, it means we're truly husband and wife. Saying this, Jungkook kissed her deeply again. And they didn't sleep until 3am their bedroom was now alive with warmth and love.